Larry Farmer has joined us, and he is a local author and member of the Brazos Writers. He has a new book called I Will Be the One. Larry, I want to welcome you to Brazos Arts. Glad to be here. I have to ask you first off, because it seems like this book is set in the Philippines. It's about two people that come together. They find that they are in the midst of a revolution. Right. A guy and a That's gal what there. happened. Yeah. And they have joined the Peace Corps. And then when I read your bio, <laughs> it seems like this book is your personal life. It's an so. autobiography. It's, a, it's about 80 percent true. That's I incredible. had to Hollywood it up a little bit. But. Well, start at the beginning and tell us it's about two folks that literally come from different parts of the country right. and they come together in the Peace Corps. They find love. She's a school teacher. He's doing all kinds of stuff. I'll let you tell the story. Sure. The late summer of 1983, I applied for the Peace Corps just because I was working on a master's here at Texas A&M and a bunch of ex-Peace Corps were telling me all these great stories and I tokenly put in an application. Mm -hmm. And while all that was happening, a guy named Benino Aquino, I never heard of him, was assassinated in a place called the Philippines. I'd heard of the Philippines, but not a whole lot. Yeah. Lo and behold, I get my papers, and that's where they're sending me. And I had been in the Marine Corps. I wanted to go to Vietnam. And so it wasn't like I joined the Peace Corps for adventure outside you'd, of what you'd you're normally... an adventure. <laughs> yeah, outside of what you're normally going to experience. But it yeah. was like, well... Looks like adventure might be on the way, and, and it was. It was coming to a head uh, about the Ferdinand Marcos, and um, his. he had been in power for nearing 20 years. By the time he was ousted, 20 years. And it was coming to a head. There was uh, insurrection in the countryside, not everywhere. And Mindanao had just been settled as peaceful, and I was one of the first Westerners mm -hmm. That was obviously a Westerner, you know, white skin, blue eyes, blonde hair, all that, to where you couldn't miss me. And when you stand out like that, they want it to be safe. So I was one. Of, I was just about the very first one put back in what had been a no man's land down in Mindanao, a southernmost province, I mean, island. There were others like me, but not too many. And it turns out there was a lot of insurrection around. We were in pockets of peace, but there was a lot going on. And in the reality, we had to leave. I didn't put that in the novel because I wanted to keep a stable environment. But there was political assassinations and uh, roadblocks and uh, demonstrations. And it just got it got heated enough. They, they put us in a more. You tell a really great tale about it's literally a third world country. And right. It's very people... impoverished at the time. It's it's in, it's heartening to hear that it's coming up now. It's really mm -hmm. beginning to prosper. Well, what I found so interesting about it, you hear it's always the land of the have and the have nots. Right, 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 right. And so the people that were in political power. Right. Were the haves. They had anything they wanted. And I remember the shoes. <laughs> right. It, that's the one thing people Everybody remember, talks about yes. the shoes. I mean, how many shoes? 20,000? indicative of how it was shoes she didn't even remember she bought just to have just to possess just to possess and then you talk about the jeepneys the transportation and people literally having to tie their food right. onto right. the jeep in order to transport right. it because so many people needed that transportation right. so they were trying to do it any way right. they could right. Right. and then in the middle of all this though you make this woman and in right. the, the book she's called lois and she's, she's a, school she's teacher. a she was a real person and uh we hit it off just like the book says we hit it off immediately there's like a pre-processing in san diego where they put us all together and we get on the plane there and fly off and so we had three days in San Diego and the real girl's name is Leslie we just hit it off immediately just like in the book said and lo and behold we were assigned together I mean with some distance apart mm -hmm. but it, but close enough that we could see each other like on weekends mm -hmm. and any time that we got to spend apart like if we went to a town or something and there was just you don't even think about it it's just a rapport yeah. we had a natural rapport and mother nature has a way of course <laughs> and mother people together. mother nature took some very <laughs> strong suggestions to us and we took the hint 
and we had a very really wonderful relationship to be honest and we're in contact even even today she helped me write this book to be honest i was going to give her co-authorship but she turned it down well i encourage and it's really interesting because i know that the book is you know partly about the political stuff that was going on down there but there's a big romance part of it it's really entertaining and i think it's a good read for both men and women and you've got a flair for writing romance so congratulations thank larry you. thank you <laughs> it's called i will be the one we've got a minute and I want you to take just a second and because that phrase is very important. Right. I will be the one. It it really amounts to a lot of things. It was based on a saying the Filipinos had that they will take the danger. They will take the struggle. It was very touching. And uh, Lois Leslie Mm -hmm. caught up on it. And she just loved that. And, And at the same time, here's this revolution going on. And it's part of a Cold War thing. We had bases there and everything. It just mounted to, we felt like the Filipino. I will be the one. And then when the revolution happened, we were there and we saw the ouster, a peaceful, it was the most beautiful revolution in history. Only the Filipinos could have, (laughs) not a shot fired. And and, uh, the Catholic Church came in and grouped them together. Millions came on the streets to block The rebels from Marcos, Mm -hmm. and Marcos had to leave. But to give him credit, he could have fired on his people and chose not to. did not. Tell me where this book can be had. You can look at my webpage, and it's Larry Farmer Writes, W-R-I-T-E-S dot com, and it's linked to all the bookstores that have it, but you can get it at Amazon, Kindle. My publisher is the Wild Rose Press out of New York. You can get it straight from them. You can get it on Nook. But I have the links on my LarryFarmerWrites.com. Okay, sounds good. I will be the one. Larry, thank you so much. Thank you.